Welcome back everybody to part two of all of the mods that I use throughout my maps. Now we've also we've already done a part one, so go check that video out first because there's a whole bunch of other mods in there as well that are very very essential. And then in today's video, we're going to focus more on the detailing side and traffic related mods and all of those really essential ones that just everyone should know about. Also, all of these, like I said in the last video, will be put into a Steam collection. It will be linked down below, easily ready for you guys to click and subscribe to any of them that you haven't already. And if there is some that I haven't mentioned in either this video or the previous video, let us know down below. And um, because we all love to find out new mods because it's kind of fun. I should also mention that all of these mods are in no particular order. Okay, so the first one that I want to mention is the advanced vehicle options, which is this little button down here. So when you bring that up, it basically brings up all of the different vehicles that are in your game, either vehicles that are from the vanilla game or vehicles that you have downloaded. And so let's just say you choose this one, you can actually change a lot of the information about it. So the speeds and how fast and how long it takes them to accelerate and brake. You can change the colors around as well. One thing that I like to do is you can change, for example, if we go into passenger train here, you can select your train and you can make it super fast if you want, or you can make it really slow. So you can make a bullet train or you can make a really old-fashioned slow train. It's really up to you, but you can also change the capacity as well. So that's a very, very handy one to have if you want to have more detail for your vehicles. The next mod I want to mention is called the Fine Road Anarchy. And what this one does, it basically just gives you so much more freedom, less limitations, and things will be able to overlap a little bit better without them actually demolishing. And there are so many different ways that you can use this mod, but I'm going to talk about the way that I use it in particular, which is when you press Control A, and what that does is it allows you, well basically, I'll just show you. So we have this little clinic here, and let's say we wanna place down a hospital next to it. It allows us to overlap it. Whereas if we go back to how the game is normally, so if we try to overlap it, it won't allow us, but if we press Control A, you can see then it, it allows us to overlap it very, very easily. You can also do the same with different buildings. So you can even do it with residential buildings, which is what I do a lot. So normally it would look like this. You can't place them next to each other, but if you press Control A, it then allows you to put it right in there and this, bu and this building isn't going to be demolished or overlapping with an issue. Another really handy mod is called the Fine Road Tool. And what this one does is it's all about your roads. So when you bring, when you click on your road button, it brings up this little thing right here. And what it does amongst, there's many other things, but I'm talking about what I like to do specifically. So you can set it to just normal like this. Um, you can set it to force it to stay on the ground. So if you go like this, it's not going to create a bridge. You can press this one which forces an elevation. You can do this one which forces a bridge. So if you're using one that has a bridge support like this, you can, or you can do this one which forces a tunnel. This one doesn't have support for a tunnel. So if I choose like this one here, it makes a tunnel. So it forces all of them to do specifically what you want. And that one is really, really handy because then you don't have to rely about pressing the up and down button to elevate things. It's just already done, it's easy, and it's set ready for you. So when you click on the Move It mod, you can select a node, and then that allows you to put it up or down as well. So that makes it really, really handy. But of course, there are so many other different things that you can do with the Fine Road tool, but these are the ones that I specifically like to do. The next few ones I mentioned are super self-explanatory. So we have no abandonment. So the people or the workers won't leave a building and abandon it, it makes them all stay there. You can also, I also use the no fires mod and the no seagulls because sometimes when you place down certain assets, there's a huge influx of seagulls and I don't really like to see a huge swarm of them flying around. The next one is called the No Pillars mod, which is another really essential one for road design. So it's this one down here, and it basically gives you different con controls for when you place down roads. If we, for example, want to update this road here, 
if we do it normally, it's see how it's going to demolish that building right there. So what you would do is go in here and you would say no collision and then you can place that down and it doesn't demolish anything. Or if you want to place down a road that for some reason doesn't have any zoning on it, you can choose that as an option or you can also or if there is a road that for some reason doesn't have zoning on it, you can basically force the zoning to appear on it. But mainly I'll use the no collision button for when I want to update like inner city areas like this when it's going to demolish other buildings. So I'll click no collision so then the buildings won't disappear. The next one is called the no radioactive desert and more mod. Uh, so it if we look at this industrial area here, normally there would be the smog, there would be a lot of ground pollution as well. So it removes a lot of those ugly appearances and the way that you can manage this, if you go up into your options, you have all of these different buttons in here. So for example, I have these two selected, no orange or dead trees at shorelines, no shoreline ground color, and also no orange dead trees in polluted areas. You can also choose all of these if you want to, you can turn them on and off. So you have no fertile area ground color, no ore area color, oil color, no forestry area color, or no burned area ground color. So it's a really handy mod to have if you wanna get rid of those vanilla ugly ground colors. When you look at this shot here, you can see that all of these buildings have been placed down manually. And the way that I've done this is through the plop, the growable mod, and also the ploppable reco. So the ploppable reco, you can find it through this button down here, but I like to use these two mods through the find it mod. So the ploppable, so the ploppable growable and the ploppable reco, basically it's, giving you the options to place down uh, buildings that you have downloaded from the Steam Workshop or just other random growable buildings. So growable meaning buildings, if you zone them, they will suddenly appear when there's demand. So you can plop them all down and I find all of those from in here. And in order to have them down like this where they can overlap, you'll need to have the Fine Road Anarchy mod turned on pressing Control A so they can overlap and it looks so much better like that. So that's the ploppable growable and ploppable reco, which I use through the Find It mod. The Prop and Tree Anarchy mod is another really useful one. So what this one does is it allows you more options for detailing. So for example, we have this building here, which is the biomass pellet plant. And let's say we want to put down a few trees along the side here. But if we try, you can see it doesn't allow us, it, it becomes red. So basically, when you have the Prop and Tree Anarchy mod, you'll want to press Shift P and that allows you to have the access to place down trees or any type of little prop inside an object where usually it would be read like this. So that's shift P and it turns it on and allows you to have access in there. The next one is the prop snapping tool. So like the last one, you'll need to press shift P to allow the access to plop things down. And what this one does is for example, I want to put more signs on the side of these buildings like I've already done. So the prop snapping pill tool basically snaps them to the side of an object like this. You can place it down or you can even go, for example, to the top of the building and you can put down chairs or anything on top of the building. So again, you'll need to press shift P because naturally it will look like this. Press shift P to turn it on and it'll snap to any surface regardless of the, the height or angle Here's a big one. One that I'm always asked about is these keys. How do you how do you make keys like this? So you can see here I have a key. You can put down a key very easily in the game, but how can you overlap it like this and put it on land? So another example would be over here like this. So this one is not on water. So how do we get that? So you can easily just download a mod called the Key Anarchy. And of course, if you try to place it down, it's not going to work. So you'll need to press the control A button, which is from the Fine Road Anarchy mod, which would then allow you put, to put down a key wherever you want. So you can see now that I have everything enabled, I can pretty much just put it down wherever I want. It doesn't have to be on the shoreline, it can be up here. Sometimes you won't have to press control A, sometimes you will, just depends on the situation and the area. 
Okay, another really handy one for your road design is going to be the roundabout builder. Once you have it enabled, it's going to be this button down here. Very simple to use. Naturally, it'll come up as this size, so you can press the minus or the plus button to make it bigger or smaller. Uh, you can also choose the type of road you want it to be. So I believe the way that I do it is I would select the road that I want and then I'd make sure I open it once it's selected like this. And then it, let's just say, let's have it like that size. And there we go, pretty simple. And um, there are other options in here that you can use, but that's how I like to do it. Just keep it really simple. And using this mod saves so much time because I cannot build a roundabout manually. The surface painter down here is another really handy tool. So when you click on it, it brings up this little box right here. The one that I use the most is the pavement. So like I've done here, or you can also do like a gravel type. So it'll look like this, or you can do this one, which is called ruined, or you can do this one here, which is more like a field. We also have this button here, which basically removes everything that you've put down. But for me, I personally like to use the pavement the most. And of course, I have to mention this next one. It is this one up here, the TMPE mod. And this one I cannot summarize in one video, but there are so many videos available for you guys about this one already. So I don't think I really need to, but if we just go through it quickly, we have this button here, which turns off and on your traffic lights. You can make custom traffic lights. You can adjust the lanes. You can make certain lane arrows and connections. You can turn off spawning or despawning for vehicles. You can add in the stop signs, change the speed limits. You know, there's so many different things that you can do in this one. And you guys, if you don't know this one yet, there are so many different uh, videos available uh, for this one. Okay, so the next one is the parallel road tool. So it allows you to make nice roads like this that are right next to each other. So once you've installed it, let's just go over here. You'll go down into your roads and you'll press this one here, which is looks like it's parallel. So that's the one. And naturally it'll come up like this. So select the road that you want. Usually it'll be a highway, right? So select the one that you want. And then at that point, it'll only do one. So you'll need to press plus. And then there you go. You can just put it down really simple and then you can just rotate it around very, very easily. Lastly is the touch it tool. Now what this one does is if you look at this here, so this is where the cruise ships come in. Usually when you place it down, the road on the actual facility can't be changed, but you can see here I have changed it. And so the touch it mod actually allows you to change the road that comes with the facility. So once you've installed that mod, you'll want to put down your facility. Now this works for any type of facility that has a road attached to it like this. So there's our road. Naturally, we can't change it, right? It doesn't allow us to do anything. So what we're going to do is go up here, which is the touch it mod mod, open it, click on this one, and we're just going to click on it like that. And it turns red and that means it's done its job. So then we can actually change it to, let's just say this one here, just, just like that. So that one is really handy because I don't always like to have that big road there. It also works for airports, pretty much anything you want. And that is it everybody. So all of those mods in this video and the previous video were all of the mods that I specifically use. And what I showed you guys for each mod is what I use personally. Now for each mod, there are different things that you can do. Some of them, there is a lot of different functions, but like I said, the things that I showed in these two videos were the functions that I use throughout my videos and are the functions that people often question how to do it. And so there we go. All of those are in a Steam link down below. And if there is any mods that I forgot to mention in this video or the previous one, please let us know. There's always going to be more that are going to be, um, there's always going to be more that we all would like to know. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something as well.